All right, just like to say a massive thank you to everybody that came to our bike night last night. First one of the season, there's three more to come, but last night was something special. We've never had a turnout like that, have we, Alex? No, never. It was absolutely fabulous. So we want to say thank you to everybody that came. We also want to say thank you to um, the people that uh, came to show off some of their products, like Maxton Engineering, the suspension specialists. Of course, we had On The Edge, the Trials Bike Stunt Team. They did a fantastic display. The crowds, as soon as they started up, the crowds just went all around the fencing and they were just absolutely loving them, weren't they? Brilliant. It was fantastic. Uh, who else did we have come? Charlie Williams, uh, XTT winner. Uh, he was here signing his books, selling his books, um, brought a couple of his old race bikes. Yeah, uh, that Taylor was Morton really was good. here. Taylor Morton, of course. Lewis Rollo. Yeah, a couple the of the riders. The brilliant team. Yeah, with their bikes as well, which is yeah. amazing. Um, so they were really good and they were signing pictures and the atmosphere was just fantastic, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and also Magellan Motorcycles and also John from Scala. Yes, uh, he was here do, giving some technical support to anyone with Scala riders because obviously we sell them in the shop. Uh, he was doing updates, he was telling people how to connect them properly to their phones, uh, running all through all that. It was he absolutely was also fabulous. selling tickets. Yes, he was raffling off a drone. Yeah. Um, so um, some lucky winner last night was drawn for that, actually, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, so whoever had ticket number 15, Ashley, which apparently is Ashley, we don't know if it's Ashley boy today? or Ashley girl, <laughs> we're not sure, we'll find but, out. but they've won the drone. So well done to you. Um, okay, we also ran three competitions, yeah? We had uh, oldest bike, uh, we had highest mileage bike, and we also won a third competition which didn't actually get completed last night and that was um, for best bike, okay. Uh, we give Howard the best bike. Um, judging. Judging, yeah. Uh, with, with him being, um, you know, involved massively in, in what we do with the, you know, with these bike nights and, and the charities. Um, but it got a little bit, it was that overwhelmed by the whole thing, wasn't there it? There were so night? many bikes and so yeah. many people. It and, just got a little bit yeah. too much. So the third um, draw, the, the best bike, actually hasn't been done. Uh, the, the other two have the oldest bike and the highest mileage bike. We've got the winners here written down. We're going to say that in a minute. But the best show bike, um, it didn't get done. So next month, obviously, we've got another uh, bike due. Okay, another bike night which we're going to be advertising. We've got the little brochure there, and that's going to be plastered all over Facebook and all over the shop and everywhere else. June the 19th, put it in your diary. Yeah, so on that night, we will do two um, best show bikes. Okay, so best in show, we'll instead of just having one bike, we'll have two because we didn't get that done last night. As I say, uh, poor old uh, Howard, uh, it just got a little bit too much, didn't it? Okay, so right, um, oldest bike. Um, it was going to be uh, a 1957 uh, BSA Golden Flash, which was gorgeous, uh, by Bob Barnett. But unfortunately, Bob, you were pipped in the last half hour by a Triumph Tiger 110, a 1954. So Jane, she came and introduced herself to me, uh, showed me a bike, we took pictures of it, and nobody beat her. So Jane, your 1954 Triumph Tiger 110 was the oldest bike of the night um, so you get the uh, prize so i've got your phone number here i'll give you a ring you can come down and you can claim your prize highest mileage bike uh, where's that one alex okay highest mileage bike again was going to be to a guy called nigel at ninety-eight thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine miles but he was pipped by an ian clark with 107,950 miles on his bike. Um, we've got your number here, Ian, and again, we'll be contacting you today, uh, and you can come and claim your prize. So that was all good. Um, anything else we need to say there, Alex? These are gonna be left out all weekend. Yeah. Um, so just, if you're coming down to the store, or the cafe, just give generously. It's for an amazing course. It's for the cause, it's for spinal research. It's the Guy Martin Big Brew part of it and uh, we just want to raise as much money as we can for a great cause and uh, thank you again to everyone who came it was a really brilliant night yeah so, thank you. so far we're up to 700 pounds we want okay? to go higher we want to go we want to go higher as high as we can that's why we're carrying on doing it all this weekend and am i right in saying alex if we get the most or we raise the most amount of money for this big brew yeah that we will get an appearance from the guy martin himself from the man himself but so we need to raise more money we're all striving towards that and um, 700 pounds for just one night is a yeah. very good start. So uh, we'll let you know how that gets on in the next couple of days. 
But again, I just want to say thank you for all your support, for everyone that turned up last night. There was no trouble, everything went smoothly. It was absolutely fantastic. Thanks to the uh, Four Ways Cafe and all the staff in there uh, who were absolutely rushed off their feet. In fact, they sold out at one point, didn't they? You know, so a big thanks to the Four Ways Cafe. Uh, they did a great job and um, thanks to everyone else for all the support we and really we'll, appreciate it and we'll see it. you on June the 19th we will the next one um, yeah look forward to it and we'll keep uh, we'll keep in touch on that and we'll do some more competitions slight different variations keep it nice and fresh and uh, we'll see you then so again thanks very much